under different circumstances, an extended stay at a manor outside London would be a welcome respite from the musty libraries of Miskatonic University. I expected to arrive here and be greeted by a collection of fellow travelers, but I've been here a week, and so far, I'm the only one to arrive. There is a power in this place. I, I can feel it when I touch the stones of the Foundation. It is an unimaginable power that predates time itself, and it is awakening. Eldritch Horror is a cooperative game of mystery and terror inspired by the writings of H.P. Lovecraft. In each game, one of the Ancient Ones, a being of unimaginable power, is awakening. Players take on the role of investigators who are attempting to solve mysteries, fight terrifying horrors, and ultimately banish the Ancient One from this world. If investigators fail at their task, the Ancient One awakens and mankind is doomed. To win the game, investigators need to solve mysteries. Each Ancient One has its own deck of mystery cards, with a unique set of tasks that the investigators must resolve. Race to discover the true name of Azathoth below the Pyramids of Giza, or battle the loathsome Dunwich Horror on the outskirts of Arkham. Only by solving mysteries specific to the Ancient One can players prevent the impending doom. As soon as three mysteries are solved, investigators win the game. However, if the Doom Track reaches zero before investigators can solve their mysteries, the Ancient One awakens, plunging the investigators into one final mystery that must be solved, usually by confronting the Ancient One head-on. While attempting to solve the mysteries of the Ancient One, each of the 12 available investigators travel the world face numerous and varied encounters, and fight horrible monsters. To face these challenges, investigators use five different skills – law, influence, observation, strength, and will – which indicate the number of dice rolled when performing tasks. Additionally, investigators frequently gain assets, artifacts, spells, and conditions as they face encounters throughout the game. Will your investigator learn a valuable ritual spell by studying the Necronomicon in Buenos Aires? Or will they suffer a grievous back injury while on the run from assassins in Istanbul? Whatever the situation, investigators must use teamwork and every possession at their disposal to survive. The clues I uncovered in London have set me on a path with no end in sight. I know now that a malign force is gathering and must be stopped. What I don't know is how. Eldritch Horror is played over a series of game rounds that consist of three phases. The action phase, the encounter phase, and the mythos phase. Investigators move about the game board during the action phase to acquire beneficial cards and tokens such as assets and travel tickets. Asset cards provide valuable resources like allies or weapons, while travel tickets allow your team to venture across the high seas or over continental railways, increasing their reach to remote places around the globe. During the encounter phase, each investigator resolves one encounter. Encounters fall into three categories – combat, location, or token. These encounters often involve reading a short narrative on an encounter card which can have positive or negative effects. In the Mythos phase, the lead investigator draws the top card of the Mythos deck. There are seven possible elements on a Mythos card, and the lead investigator resolves them in the order they appear. The effects of a Mythos card are numerous and may involve advancing the Omen track, which increases doom and brings the Ancient One closer to waking. Gates may spawn, monsters may appear, or new rumors may spread foretelling the end of the world. A feeling of dread has fallen over me. The powers at work stretch further than I had imagined. I fear not only for myself, but for the entire world. In this example, Norman Withers is in San Francisco at the start of the action phase, 
and may perform two actions. Norman performs a travel action and moves from San Francisco to Space 5. During his travel action, he decides to spend his train ticket to move one additional space along the train path to Arkham. For Norman's second action, he decides to rest, which restores one health and one sanity. Once the other investigators have taken their actions, the game round advances to the encounter phase. Since there are no monsters forcing Norman into a combat encounter, he has the option of drawing from the general encounter deck or the America encounter deck. Norman decides to draw from the America encounters, and because he is currently in Arkham, reads the Arkham encounter printed on the card. In the restricted section of Miskatonic University's library, you study an esoteric tome. Gain one incantation spell. You try to decode a note written in the margin. If you fail, the words put strange visions into your mind. Gain a hallucinations condition. After gaining the incantation spell, Norman must face a law test to decode the note. To succeed, he must roll at least one success, a five or a six. The number printed on Norman's law skill is three, so he rolls three dice. Unfortunately, even with three dice, Norman is unable to succeed, so he fails the law test and must gain a hallucinations condition. This condition stays with Norman until he performs a rest action during a future action phase. Condition cards also include an additional Reckoning Effect icon, which can be triggered during the Mythos phase. If triggered, Norman will have to perform a Will test. Failing this test will have even more dire consequences as indicated on the back of the card. The Amazon, the sands of Egypt, the Himalayas. I am blind, stumbling in the darkness, and I no longer know who I am. I seek answers and find nothing. I can feel my sanity slipping. Investigators defeat monsters by resolving combat encounters. When encountering a monster, the investigator flips the monster token face down and reads the information on the back of the token. He then resolves two tests, first a will test and then a strength test to determine the result of the combat encounter. Tokens are placed on spaces of the game board and provide even more encounter options for investigators. Clue tokens allow investigators to resolve research encounter cards, while gate tokens provide other world encounters. The active expedition token allows investigators to choose from the expedition encounter deck, where they may tunnel to ancient cities in the heart of Africa, or face terrible snowstorms in the Himalayas. Finally, rumor tokens allow investigators to resolve encounters listed on the rumor mythos cards. Whether you encounter cult activity in San Francisco's Chinatown or discover an ancient codex in the Vatican Library in Rome, the wide variety of encounters in Eldritch Horror provide a wealth of narrative immersion and replay value in each game. Home. I am back where it all began. Back where, I fear, it will now all end. Possessions aid your investigation team as they explore the world. Allies can give an investigator a helping hand during encounters. Spells can boost an investigator's skill or prevent them from losing health, while services can shorten a trip by allowing an investigator to charter a flight or mail items to a fellow investigator anywhere in the world. Items such as the protective amulet boost your investigator's will during combat encounters while the lucky rabbit's foot allows you to re-roll a die during a test. Assets can also be purchased from the reserve area whenever an investigator is in one of the many cities around the world. Artifacts are unique possessions that can only be won by successfully completing an encounter. Discover the flute of the outer god and use it to defeat monsters. Use the glass of Mortlan to prevent the loss of sanity or call upon the Ruby of Rillia to perform additional actions. 
Only through careful investigation and clever use of possessions can your investigation team solve the mysteries needed to save the world. Time is always running out, and when the Doom Track reaches zero, the Ancient One awakens, plunging the investigators into a desperate struggle for survival. The Omen Track allows your investigation team to predict the near future and react to prevent the advances of the Doom Track. Each time the Omen Track advances, every open gate that has a matching symbol advances the Doom Track, and the Ancient One comes closer to awakening. Monsters can spawn at open gates, clues can appear across the world, and any conditions that your investigation team may have can be triggered. Across the globe, ancient evil is stirring. Only you and your trusted circle of colleagues, working against all odds, can hold back the approaching horror. Foul monsters, brutal encounters, and obscure mysteries will take you to your limit and beyond. I know now what I must do. I am about to answer a greater call and give the ultimate sacrifice. Oh.